Hello, I'm not the Nostalgia Critic. I can't remember it, so someone else will have to. Preferably the real Nostalgia Critic. A very talented and funny reviewer. I really admire the Nostalgia Critic, and I've decided to create this list of what I think are his best moments. I do not own the Nostalgia Critic's footage, nor do I own any of the movies he's making fun of. Please enjoy. I'm Tom. I'm Jerry. <laughs> what the hell? Did they just talk? Did Tom and Jerry, one of the most famous silent duos of all time, just speak to each other? No, 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 it's gotta be a mistake, I gotta be hearing things. I'm gonna just go ahead and eat my customary three pound watermelon and drink my traditional pitcher of sangria both at the same time while I confirm how wrong I was about this ridiculous misunderstanding. What do you think I am, a dummy? You said it! So now you don't have a car. Um, did he ever hit the ground? I mean, I was expecting a thud or something. Is he still falling? Is it a black hole? How hard is it just to put in a stinking thud sound effect? Captain, no splash. Do we continue Grand Theft Arnold as he- Don't you just hate inconsistencies? Yeah, yeah. Tainly long slow motion fight. She had to put her face on. What other kids' songs do you think are given the Jack Frost treatment? I'm a little teapot showing style. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I got steamed up, hear me shout. Pull me over, tip me out. Hail Satan! Oh, from putting razor blades in bubble gum and dynamite into pinatas. This kid needs to get laid. I take it back. This whole movie needs to get laid! By the way, did you notice that the milk glasses are there when they come in and then suddenly disappear when they order? You may think this is a hole in the movie, but it's not. Chuck Norris is actually so intimidating that the milk pre-ordered itself in preparation for his arrival and then went back under because they thought they'd be presumptuous. Such is the way of Norris. I took it away. Give me the bird. Gladly. You have only 30 seconds to get your passenger on the plane to mine school. And how about some more close-up buggy? Way to go! Your next passenger should probably be a supporting character. Taxi! Mister, I'm a taxi, I'm a taxi! Don't forget to hit the Asians! Now, finish off with some more buggy. <laughs> go crazy! Wait a minute, did his magic just make a dinging sound? Oh man, he must have been the laughing stock at Hogwarts, don't you think? My magic produces lightning! My magic produces fire! My magic goes... <laughs> and I just so happen to have the Home Alone ripoff checklist right here. Let's get marking. Impractical trap foiled by unimaginably stupid villains? Check! Gratuitous shot to the crotch resulting in cartoony sound effects? Oh, check! Unfunny dialogue hoping to be turned into an obnoxious catchphrase? That was dark! Check! Oh, will the hilarious moments ever stop? Ripping off other hilarious moments? It's like saying Little Richard's in the movie! Are you a big Terrence fan of Jack Slater films? I've enjoyed it! Jean-Claude Van Damme. I will never miss the premiere for a second. Jim Belushi. I just want to be there when it happens. MC Hammer. Look, it, deal's done, right? Humphrey Bogart. He's looking at you, kid. Chevy Chase and Damon Wayans walking side by side. What is going on? I'm a comedy psychic. And a rather unfunny one that we'd like to see get pulverized. <laughs> E.T. Fun Liars. 
Repairman can not only find signals that the government's top men can't find, but apparently can also hack alien technology while only being aware of it for one day. By God, Jeff Goldblum, is there anything you can't do? No. If they do become hostile... Okay, big cliche, big cliche, come on, come on, come on, big cliche, big cliche, come on, come on, come on! And God help us. Yeah! Asked, step forward and state your stereotype. I'm Judge Hirsch, I'm the Jewish stereotype. I'm Robert Lugai. I'm the gruff military stereotype. I'm Randy Quaid, and I'm the redneck stereotype. I'm Brent Spiner, and I'm the geeky stereotype. I'm that guy from Mrs. Doubtfire, and I'm the gay stereotype. I'm Harry Connick Jr., and I'm the annoying best friend stereotype. I am Jeff Goldblum, and I am in and of myself uh, a stereotype. Oh. Well, let's move. Why is he in danger? We think he intercepted a top-secret electronic device stolen from a Defense Department contractor by a group of international criminals working for a North Korean terrorist organization. I... Period. We get a backstory read by James Earl Jones. From the decay rose a new order. A society ruled by a new elite force. James Earl Jones is talking about an elite force. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, look through the Star Wars jokes here. Uh, no, no. Oh, here's a good one. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the force. Yeah, that'll do. Armor piercing. Armor piercing. Double whammy. Double whammy. <laughs> Seriously, how many other functions does that gun have? Armor piercing. Rapid fire. Back massage. Lounge music. <laughs> what is up with saying this one word? Is he just belching it now? Oh. Oh. I feel a musical moment coming on. Liberty! Justice! Trust! Wind! Water! Hot! Peace! Honor! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Goodness! Strength! Power! Bobby! An ant! I just need your help this once. All right, all right. But she, but you just sung a friggin' song about why she can't come with you, and then all of a sudden she can. What? I really want to come with you. No. Like every tree, stand please. Oh, all right. I should have had my uncle committed years ago, but I was up all night with my lawyers. We turned the will inside out. Thank you. That angle from Larry Miller's balls really added a lot to that scene. God, what if he was a kindergarten teacher? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain to- <laughs> Really think we can't figure out where this is? I mean seriously, why don't you just have a subtitle under everything? And background on everyone on his security staff. Consider it done, Mr. Census. Cake and sandwiches are being served in the Hall of Nature. Cake and sandwiches? Well, gee, I sort of wanted to know about that whole glass breaking thing. Me too. Until he said cake and sandwiches, and now all I can think about is cake and sandwiches. Wow! Cause this is killer! Building up the sun! An hour and a half is just long for uncreated minds! Woo hoo! I got the power! I got the treasure! But I will leave a lasting impact on your book!